Dirtman here with another special report. Today, I'm at the Peckway Silver Mines in Lancaster County, checking out Dolestone. After learning about Dolestone Pockets producing Herkimer Diamonds in New York, I wanted to check out this Dolestone producing pockets of silver. This picturesque park is home to one of the highest concentrations of silver per ton of ore in the world. And while the mine is closed and collecting is prohibited, there's so much more to this park to discover, like hidden treasure. There's a website on the internet called Uncharted Lancaster, and they have treasure hunts all over Lancaster County. This happens to be part of one of them. I'm about to pull out the treasure chest for this location. Go to unchartedlancaster.com to start your adventure or side quest and learn a lot about Lancaster history while you're there. This is the Uncharted Lancaster treasure chest. Let's see what's inside. That is the treasure. So I'm going to take one. I'm going to leave some Dirt Man's pay dirt stickers behind for the next person who discovers the treasure. I then joined expert Chris Hafner to tour and learn more about the silver mine. The main mine entrance goes in right here. The surface level mine it goes back about 120 feet. Part way back on the left hand side was shaft number one. Shaft number one was on an angle like that. You could actually go down trepidatiously, collect silver in the walls and quartz crystals. You go back a little bit further. The second shaft around the back went 10 stories down, about uh, 110 feet straight down. It had flooded up in 1878. And, uh, the water took a month to drain the shafts out. And I went down there and down at the bottom of the second shaft, 100 feet down. Huge, massive spore strikes are still there. If they would drain it out today, you could see them today. The quartz and the limestone that existed uh, were fractured by the colliding of the plates. And that's where the hydrothermal leachings that had the lead and the silver were thrust up in. And then immediately they were capped. You see all this, the clonistogophyllite, it's really dark blue, but you see all this black rock, this you know thick tapping rock? This is the rock right here that trapped the silver. It was thrust up, folded, and we ended up with it and how we see it now today. And it was the Native American tribes that lived here who first saw it over 300 years ago. We assumed that they were breaking the quartz here to make spear tips and arrowheads because we found some on the property dated to the right time period. So they were making the, the, the spear tips here for their own purposes. And this is one of those Indian pits, one of those Indian quarries. It's very small, but this is just one of them. You can see stacked rock here behind me, but you can also see this large outcropping, and you can see quartz all through it. You can tell this is where they were at. Pretty cool to be in a 300-year-old Indian quarry. Nice. As a juxtaposition to the Indian quarries that we were just in, the small pits, this behind me is actually what a more modern operation would have done. Just ripped the entire hillside out and take what they want. Check it out for yourself by downloading maps, a geological tour guide, and more on the Peckway Township website or unchartedlancaster.com. With over 300 years of history, this is a great place to explore and learn about geology in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I'm Dirtman, and that's my special report, bringing the geology to you. From here at Peckway Silver Mine in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, back to you, Jerry.